Hello and welcome to episode 10 of How to Beat Digital Distraction and Write More. My name is Andy Tattersall and I'm an information specialist at the School of Health and Related Research at the University of Sheffield. So in this very short series of quite short podcasts, I want to help you be more productive with your writing. I want to help you get things done. So in this podcast, I'm going to discuss how you can be more strategic and more productive and actually work on the premise of making a mess and rewarding yourself. So one of the problems with trying to write, especially in academic writing, is that you often fall into the trap of trying to write the finished article in the very first draft. I've seen this in writing clubs, I've seen it in sessions where academics try and write something that is as near to the finished thing as it can be, especially if they've got to put it out to some form of peer review, um, whether that's through the journal peer review or through, uh, uh, through their own peers in their own institution. The reality is that no first draft is ever the finished article and, and that can lead to an anxiety to get those first few words down. Uh, the first few, few words do not have to be the first few words of the article, so don't feel compelled to start at the very beginning. When writing, there are no other critics apart from yourself, and that you're totally free to make a mess and tidy it up afterwards. So I'm giving you permission just to write, just to get those words down. Just get a few words down, and then let's look at it later on. Tidy up afterwards, and... and that said, it's not an excuse to go off topic and write anything else just to get your word count up. Um, and as I've said earlier, think about frameworks, think about headings and where these where the words will actually go. Another technique is to try free writing. And this is where you use a pen and a paper and you start to get your ideas down without stopping. So don't stop to put in any missing grammar and don't stop to check spellings and don't read back what you've written. Ideally, you should do this first thing in the morning before anything else. And because using a pen and a paper, it's the ideal opportunity to write before you turn the computer on. So before you've gone into the world of email and social media and other documents, etc., you're going to just focus on getting some words written. Once you've completed your writing session, you can carry out your proofread, refine your work, preferably after you've taken a break, get yourself a hot drink and come back and read it, read it back. Um, so this leads me on to another thing you should do when you're writing a lot, and that's that you should always reward yourself. Um, it's about forming writing habits, and that can be very hard. So if you give yourself rewards after completing certain milestones, then habits can be easier to form. It's up to you as to what rewards might work best for you, but I wouldn't advise having a sweet treat after every completed sentence. Uh, another thing you can do is set yourself false deadlines. So try and trick yourself into completing work that little bit earlier. If I have to deliver a lecture or a talk and I need to have new or updated slides, I always put a reminder, a false reminder, in my calendar weeks before the actual event. So I'm not completing tasks close to the deadline. And I know it's not so simple. If you're very busy, things quite often do get squeezed out and, and done at the end. But if you've sometimes got a bit of room for manoeuvre, think about doing that. So a way you can do this is to create a productivity and deadlines calendar. And this is... Tools like Google Calendar are great for creating multiple private uh, calendars that only you can see. So you can set your daily private calendar and it can tell you to do things like uh, eat the frog, which is a previous podcast, um, when to do some reading, when to write, when to do your email, when to do something like Yesterbox. Again, this was mentioned in a previous podcast. You might not adhere to that every day. It might be very few days that you adhere to it. But it will be this daily reminder to be a bit more strategic with your time, to do certain things, whether it's meditate, whether it's to go for a walk. It will just jog you into some form of habit. So hopefully that's useful. My name is Andy Tattersall and you can hear more of these podcasts uh, on this site to help your writing, research and productivity. Just follow the, the link uh, attached to this site So, and good luck with your writing projects. <laughs>